I think the, the thing that's impressed me most this year has been the quality of domestic matches that we've seen. I mean, we've had some uh, British title fights that would put some of the World Championship matches to shame. And it's actually a British title fight that I've chosen as my favourite of the year. Uh, it took place back at the beginning of the year uh, for the Super Bantamweight title between uh, Neil Swain and Michael Brody. It was a great little battle. It seemed to seesaw with every changing round. A wonderful fight. And uh, we had a one-punch finish just around the whole thing off. Really dramatic finish. Certainly my favourite fight of the year. So there you are, then. The vacant championship vacated by Richie Wenton. And the Southpaw from Wales, Hiddleford Goch. Well, not a bad company here. Uh, impression of that little place in the Ronda Valley. And very from the Ank Hotel of Manchester. for his patience a little bit, knows how to pick punches. Swain, you know, that sums him up as a, as a person, you know, free spirits, let's get stuck in, loves it. I think Swain's trying to intimidate Brody here, he's obviously the more experienced. I'm sure he knows Brody must be worrying about the 12 rounds, I think he's trying to start fast here, I don't think this pace will last from Swain. He's just trying to intimidate him a little bit in the opening rounds, but going the rounds back there. Brody, very cool, very calm there. Yeah, he's back with nice clean counters. He pulled a bit of a face too, Swain. Just to say hello, what was that? Swain throwing a lot of punches, but Brody's defences are tight. It's going to be a good fight this year. I don't know how long it's going to last though, he's, he's picking his punches well, he's throwing punches the Welshman, but the, the Manchester lads, he, he's placing them a bit better. Yeah, but he's not been knocked out of his, his stride there, the Brody, he's still keeping nice and calm and picking some nice counters, this is a good first round, Reg. Yeah, it is. Swain getting through with a lot of these shots. But he's got the advantage of reach there, Swain, the way he wins those punches in. Quality stuff from Brody. Quality stuff for short American style body punching, that is. That showed a nice bit of maturity there from Brody. He's not been at this level before, but the way he's coped with those attacks and then come back with such good combinations of his own. Excellent. Missing with all what good shot that left of though. Missed with three punches on the turn there, Swain. And uh, was a sucker for the counter punch, really. See, there's no way Swain is going to keep this pace going, Reg. So Brody's doing the right thing, not trying to match him for pace. Just keeping tight and just picking the counters. Oh, that right. shot was maybe a bit, looked a bit worse than it was, but it was a good solid shot. But Brody knows exactly where he is. He's caught square footed a little bit. Well, Jim, I, I said when they came in, these are two of the gutsiest fight fighters you could wish to have. And that, that's just what it's going to be. Talk about fight to a finish. Cracking open and round. Well, Reg, if this is the appetizer, we're in for a cracker. Wonderful first round. Let's have another look at it here, Jim. I think that it looked actually more dramatic than it was, Reg. It was a good shot. It caught him square on, but I think he was a little bit square footed. Second round. Can they keep this up? It looks as though they will. You really have to admire the coolness of Brody's first time at this level. And no matter what Swain did in that first round, he couldn't rob him of his coolness. Jeremy hasn't been past six rounds, believe it or not, fighting for the championship, scheduled for 12, of course. That's one of the big problems, the big doubts, how we would cope with the thought of 12 rounds. Doing 12 rounds is bad enough, but if you're worried about it, then you start to freeze. But that's not happened. He's answering everything that Swain's throwing, but doing it at his own pace. Swain really a little bit reckless and untidy here. Brody the one with the control at the moment. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit overconfident. He's, he's shown that, I think, so, Swain. He, he, you know, he, he knew it was going to be a tough fight, but he always figured he could win it because of the lack of experience of Brody. 
I mean, if I looked after Brody, I wouldn't be too worried putting him into a 12-rounder at this stage in his career because he's not a fighter who wastes punches. He's very economical and he paces himself naturally. And that's what's happening here. Not wasting any punches, getting his feet right up close to Swain before he lets the punches go. Keeping his defences nice and tight. Swain is the one who's breathing already, breathing hard. So he is. Beautifully picked punches there. But he's not Jim, you see, this is the thing, he's got all the guts in the world, Swain. He's not, he's not going to make it easy for him. Well, I thought Swain would just do that in the first round and then calm down and start boxing sensibly. But I think he's made his mind up that he can get Brody out of there. And no signs of it yet. See, Brody just still picking the punches nice and steadily. Some championship fight, this isn't it? See, Brody just wants to settle back down again. He's beginning to play Swain's game here. Just take your time. It's 12 rounds. Swain's done it before. He hasn't. So he doesn't want to be drawn in. Only if he catches Swain with a big shot should he follow up full, with full power. See, Swain using his experience here. He's trying to drag the steam out of Brody. The pace of it's unbelievable. They might settle down a bit smarter boxing later on. I mean, it's not that wild. Swain is a wild, wild puncher of the two. Well, Swain's finishing the round better than Brody here. Brody's lost his way a little bit, becoming ragged. He looks so cool, so calm in the first minute and a half of the round or so. But Swain's strength. And he's now drawing Brody into a brawl, and that is not what Brody wants. Let's have a look at this in replay, Jim. Even, well, slow, even in slow round. motion, it's fast. Look at tremendous this. Tremendous round, Reg. In the first couple of minutes of the round, Brody was very controlled, picking his shots. But he got drawn into a brawl in, in the last minute. See, in the last minute or so, he got drawn into a brawl. Third round, then. Super band of weight championship, H stone 10 pound, 55 kilo. Roaring the crowd roar every success of Brody when he comes in. I think having the crown in your side, Reggie, is a wonderful asset in a fight like this because I think this fight could drag the very last ounce out of Brody. See, oh, he's, he's throwing from out of range now, Brody. Just wants to settle back down again. Swain trying to drag him out of that rhythm, which is the right thing to do. See, it's the first time he's been in with a southpaw as a pro, too, Brody. He's, he's been sparring with them. That's not always the same, and uh, takes a bit of getting used to. Well, Swain is fairly reckless, so Brody really just wants a tight defence and don't throw punches until he gets close. Once he's tied it up, Roy Francis. See, so heads are starting to bang together now. So they're just, each guy just won't give an inch. These body yeah. shots from Brody, really accurate and solid. Surpassed anything else. Jim, I thought it was always going to be a good fight, you know, but this is well above that, isn't it? It's a, it's a cracker. Well, we've talked about Brody Reg as a prospect for a long time, so we wondered when his night came, how it got. I know it's early days yet, but I think he's shown already he's a championship quality. Because Swain is one tough nut. Lovely boxing here from Brody. He's got his yeah. control back again. So he has. He's holding his head a bit too high there, Swain. He's trying to ignore punches. You can't do that in this game. See, Swain not really putting in an awful lot of thought into what he's doing. Brody has everything under control, good tight defence, everything nice and compact. So his punches are getting home clearly. Oh, good Swain. shot. You see, Swain is such a tough nut, Reg, he can take these shots. Mind you, he's taking a flush on the chin, you know, Jim. It's, it's not going to be easy for Swain. He, he could get stopped if he keeps hanging the chin out like that. Look, he's blowing a bit. See, he's wasting so many punches. That is the difference between both exactly. guys at this point. Swain prepared to waste punches. Brody being so economical.
referee saying watch the heads there, but he's, he's allowing them to get on with the fighting because there's no clinching. Well, there's nothing malicious, Reg. There's no butts. The, the heads are banging together simply because of the pace. Nothing left. Oh, he's done him there, Jim. His face looked down at me there, Neil Swain. You thought he was going to drop on his knees. But he, he pulled himself together brilliantly there. But he's, I'll tell you what, Jim. I, I think his stamina is going to be his problem here, Swain. Brody has switched it now. He is, he is the one exerting the pressure. Well, look at the way his hips and shoulders move in. Here it goes, boom. Leans to the side and gets the full power of the hips and shoulders right into the shot. You never saw him do that Tremendous too, too much as an amateur, actually, Brody. And in fact, uh, he's, he's Naz Hamid's last last fight, right at the end of the round there. Well, that, that is where uh, Swain lost his way a little bit. See, he has no defence. Fourth round. <laughs> Southpaw Welshman, Neil Swain. The local Michael Brody. Brody just didn't get his defences up quick enough then. That is time to tighten up. He's taken some solid shots. I don't think they're going to call that a knockdown. No. No, I'm surprised. He I, was I, hit punched the shot. Land. I punched it land, but I thought he could have stumbled over. But He's got to start firing back, though. Chan checks Wayne. Well, I, I would tracks. say the opposite, Reg. I would say get the defences up. Well, I meant, yeah, exactly that. But I mean, Because he's a little bit stunned. A couple of those shots have stunned him a little bit. He's not thinking clearly. It's not time to launch an attack. Just cover up, get your wits back about you, then get back to work. Because Swain is throwing so many punches. It looks as though Swain is putting all his eggs in the one basket in the, in the first six rounds of the fight here. He's not thinking about 12 rounds. That was a low Plenty, punch. Yeah, he complained, and he's complained about that too. He's in a controversial fight with a low punch, actually, with Paul Ingle, the now featherweight champion. He's absorbed those punches now, Brody. Now he's getting back on track again. See, he was just a little bit reckless. His defences were caught loose. He took a couple of solid shots and he, he just fired back a little bit too early. See, Swain's plan is to, to break his rhythm, throw him into a brawl, and it, it just worked at that point there. This is a cracker. He walks in, head up, Swain, and I'll tell you what, he's, he's as brave as they come and a bit foolish with it, really, because he's easier to tag than, bro than it is to catch Brody with shots. See that? You see, he's getting close and he's missed there, Swain. See, Brody probably had plans of pacing this as a 12 round fight, but Swain has not allowed that to happen. Swain has forced Brody to work at this pace. He knows he can do the distance, he's done it before. So, Swain's tactics are right, but the, his actual boxing's just a little bit ragged at times. It was inevitable, you know, that he's got to start punching themselves out, even as early as the fourth round. The pace has been, well, almost ridiculous, you could say, really. See, Swain now looking a little bit stronger. I think this round's had a little effect on Brody. A couple of the solid shots that he's taken. I don't think he's quite thrown the effects. I think he's still just a little bit stunned. Oh, brilliant. That doubled up that left hook there. Body to head. <laughs> what a fight this is. Coming up the end of the fourth. Have a look at that knockdown there that Jim and I wondered whether it's hot, half slip or punch. Back of the head. See, a punch that no, landed. Yeah, but I get the impression, Reg, well. he was in the way over before the he punch was. landed. But a punch did land, so fair enough. No punch. Oops, yeah, that's uh, yeah, it was a bit south of the border. Round five coming up. Super fan of great championship of Britain. What a cracker it's turned out. Well, in the fourth round, they swing. Achieved his objective, Reg. He managed to draw Brody into a real war, and that's what he wants. I mean, he's not thinking about 12 rounds here. He wants this kind of action. He he fancies he can last the pace better than Brody. Brody has to get the control back into his boxing. Swain will keep trying to do this. 
Well, there it is. Well, uh, you, you really can't separate them. There's going to be some arguments about this if this closeness keeps up. I don't know whether Roy Francis would have scored that as a knockdown. You can give a full point sometimes, but I doubt if he did. See, Brody's movement's looking a little bit sharper already. I think he was a little bit stunned in that round. I don't think he fully recovered from the solid shots that he took. He's looking a little bit fresher now. But uh, he just wants to think of just a slip, of course. <laughs> Left hook to the body there to start with, but it, it just fell over the... Uh, yeah, he just slipped on the canvas the, there, The Reg. outside uh, advertising bit there. See Swain now making a battle of strength, trying to force Brody back, and look at the way he's responding. For a kid with such limited experience, Brody, he's, he's become exceptional. As I said earlier, he did show that much as an amateur. He's, he was actually Naz Hamid's last amateur contest and lost, of course, in that one, but uh, he's certainly improved as a professional. I don't know what pre-fight plan Brody had, but it doesn't matter because Swain has just decided how this fight's going to be, and that's the way it is. Brody just has to respond, and he'll get blasted out of here. And really, the way he's coming back, at Swain, wonderful. Swain, a little bit of tiredness in the legs, there is surprisingly. An open mouth, him. have you noticed that? Well, he's, he's yep. showing a bit of weariness now. He just to crumble a little bit from the legs there, as though he's feeling the pace. Oh, that, that was a low punch. Now, he's been involved, I said before, with this one when uh, Paul Ingle did it and admitted it was a low punch. Time off, says the referee. He's going to give him time to recover from that. Well, thankfully, Swain is saying he's all right. I mean, he's a true fighting man. I mean, there's no way he's going to use anything like this as an excuse. But that certainly was. No questions asked. That was a low blow. Yes, that's... Uh... No damage to the undercarriage, he's got the protector on, but quite rightly the referee. Well, that's a pity, Reg, for Brody, because he was beginning to, to make an impact there. Swain, little signs of distress. And then they landed that low blow, didn't get a chance to capitalise on it, so we'll see if he can pick it back up. Oh, they're so accurate, those shots. Short and sharp by Brody. He's turning to miss a lot there, isn't he? Swiping punches, Swain. See, that, that's the difference. Swain wasting so many shots. Look at those body shots. Two lovely shots. Now that is what Brody has to do. He has to find a way to take some of the steam out of Swain's work. Too much life in Swain at this stage. Too much energy for Brody's body shots. Oh, is he pleased to somewhere. hear that bell? I tell you that. Here's the low bow there. I think we'll make your eyes walk a little bit. Oops. Yes, it does. Round six. No lacking courage at all, Swain. He's, no, he's known for the, the hardness of his fighting. A lovely uppercut from Brody. See, now, he, he's just starting spurts back. He's, he's got a sort of Jack Lallad attitude, isn't he, Swain? He, he pulls himself together and says, OK, I'm going to have a go now. Oh, this is some fight, this, it really is. See, Swain again, a little bit of experience, goes. but look at the way Brody's coming back. Yeah. Just when you think Swain is getting himself into the driving seat, back comes Brody with just stuff that's just as good. I don't know whether it had any disheartening effect on Swain, I wouldn't have thought so, but, uh, you know, he throws a good salvo of punches and uh, he blocks quite a few of them actually Brody and then he shoots back again with accurate points. Well Swain again beginning to oh there's another low blow he's just a referee was just the other side of him he'll have to there. be very careful of that Reg I mean he's had two warnings already oh that would be terrible if he gets disqualified it's be foolish for Brody you see some blood floating I don't know if it's just a nosebleed nosebleed it yeah it's like just a nosebleed yeah, Swain, yeah. thankfully this is a real battle. Bro Brody be becoming a little bit dangerous. He's rubbing his head on now. It's not just little bumps. He's actually rubbing his head on there. He's at low blows, and now, now he's rubbing his head. I think he's going to have to be a little bit careful here. Well, Swain has put a lot of work into this round just to try to gain some control.
And that that little kind of lost look again from Brody. He just seemed to, to lose his way there. His defence is not as tight as they were earlier. And again, he's been drawn into a brawl. This type of round suits Swain. A little bit of blood in the mouth too now, Brody. It's his, his turn. So that's evened up that now. So Swain has put a lot of work into this round, Reg. And just, just a little point in the middle of the round, Brody seemed to lose his way, but he's got himself back together again, but not with the same control. He's, he's obviously having trouble with his breathing as well. His mouth is open now, with that there, the blood coming from his nose affecting his breathing. You don't want a, a clip on the chin with your mouth open. Oh, that, that was a shot, but right to his boots almost, that he turned his head away. Bags of courage, mind you. We've been saying that for the moment he walked in the ring. What a fight. Round eight. Round eight. Well, there's been some very hot fights and fierce fights this year, isn't there, already? earlier in the year is it and you know the, the pattern's being said again you know this old argument of mine well they don't fight they used to in the old days there weren't too many bad and weight fights better than this in the old days let's have it right and it's amazing the way the fight is seesawing reg i mean brody has a good round swain goes back to his corner comes back out and he decides to take over it's each peach it's really like a seesaw here and then Swain, who on that card lost the last round, he's coming back out and look at the way he's picked it up. It's almost piston-like action there, isn't he? He pumps those in when he's standing up straight like that. But we're coming to the stage in the fight that should favour Swain with the experience. So it just depends how much Brody has left in the tank. It's all about conditioning the world. I mean, being locked up for several weeks is OK, but if he's not trained properly between the resting periods, then uh, who knows? Whereas Brody's a very diligent uh, trainer all the time. See, another big drive from Swain. I don't think Brody has ever found Swain's southpaw stance a disadvantage in this fight because it hasn't been a long range trading jab for jab. It's been a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, just like a barroom brawl at times. So facing a southpaw doesn't really make any difference in this kind of fight. But once again, just as you think Swain has taken control, Brody digs in and comes back with it. But really, the only time Brody is effective is when he gets moving forward. When Swain backs him up, he's in trouble. Again, yeah, Swain picking up the pace. Yeah, yeah, he is. Brody must come forward if he wants to win this title. Swain knows that, and he's not allowing it to happen. It looks as though Swain wants to turn this fight around a bit. He thinks it's close. He wants to, you know, be the governor, as they say on the trade. And get back on top. See a few signs of tiredness now in Brody's work. He's just not getting the punches off. That, that was a low blow, but there wasn't really much power in it. I hope Swain doesn't make too much of that. I mean, the, the punch did the stray low, but I don't think it was a powerful shot. Tremendous work rate in some of these rounds. I know all the rounds are a hectic pace. But I'm amazed at the pace of Swain in some of the rounds. <laughs> Reg, it's amazing in the last few months the wonderful British title fights we've had. Absolutely. I mean, you, you look to the, the world-level fighters to give you quality like this. There'll be some of the recent British title fights, wonderful. I mean, British boxing obviously thriving at the moment. Well, we won't be able to top this, Jim, I wouldn't have thought, do you? Look at this. This is a cracker, Reg. Yeah, you couldn't fault this fight. I would say at this stage, Reg, psychologically, the battle swings slightly in Swain's favour. Because he has the more experience, he's been here before. A couple of signs now and again that Brody just didn't realise the fight game was as hard as this. Swain knows how hard it is because he's been here before. Brody's just finding out, so we need to see how the young kid copes with it. Certainly not been found wanting so far. Well, it's 
So you've got it leveled, you've the unofficial card there. Well, it's, it's actually, as I said earlier, it's like a seesaw rig. Brody has a good round, Swain comes back out, make sure he has a big round next time up. I would say now, Brody is the one who really has to dig deep and find something here. Because Swain looking confident, looking quite comfortable in there. And just as I'm saying, Brody's doing that, trying to get himself forward again. Boy, put him on the just turned his back for a second there, Brody. Just a little sign of an experience again. But really, Brody has to find a way to get moving forward. Doesn't move his head away at all. He's, he's accepting those punches. He's really shipping some punishment in the head in this way. This is unbelievable, man. Body oh, shots dear, again. Dear. Crowd are going crazy at the back of the hall, as you, as you would expect. But his recovery, the Welshman, is incredible, really. I mean, he always gives the impression he might start going down on his knees, and he comes back and fires again. Reg, we've got loads of world champions tonight. I wish we had a couple of British champions and can give it both of these guys because they both deserve it. This is wonderful stuff. See, the, the way Brody is moving forward to charging with his head, that's a sign of tiredness. That's not a malicious butt. It's just that he's losing his way a little bit and stumbling forward. But look at the way he's coming back again. Swain missing a little bit well, now, breathing heavily again. I still think he's tiring of the two, Jim. I think it's Swain that looks as though he's getting tired. He, he's, he's punching himself out at times as well. He throws everything. But he knows how just to force himself on that little bit of experience because he's done it before. I mean, as I say, Brody must be saying, boy, they might have told me this game was as hard as this. Yeah, he's, he certainly found out the hard way. This what? is a tough round, oh, this one, yeah. Reg. This is a tough one to score. It is, absolutely. And Brody started so well, but Swain coming back. Just for me, with body movements, Brody's just looking that little bit more fatigued than Swain. I don't know if they'll dig deep and recover from this, but he is, his movements just look that little bit lethargic, a yeah. little bit tired looking. Yeah, See, I, then Swain I was, finishes. Yeah. I was saying Swain before, Jim. I, Such I, a tight it, it, round. Yeah, I know. I could score it even, Reg, but I, I'm inclined to go with Swain. He finished the round well, but such a tough round. That, that's the type of round that could decide the championship. Here's some of the body punches in replay. That is just at the stage oh, when you're saying right, Brody's winning this round. Now that looks as though he was going to go over there. That's a Rodney. wonderful punching. That's when Brody yeah. got his body weight moving forward. But Swain come back. In the second half of the round, Swain come back and just didn't stop throwing shots. And that's when once again Brody started to look just a little bit tired. Round 10 of this uh, championship 12 rounder. Vacant British Super Bantams at each stone 10. Yeah, well, Jim White and I have it really on a knife edge this one, and the uh, experienced referee like Roy Francis looks like he may have to go to the scorecards. You never know, this, anything can happen, probably will in this fight, everything else has. It's an incredible performance by a young man in Brody who's never been past the sixth round, really. I think the problem for Brody, the only problem so far, is that he's never actually managed to hurt Swain with his punches. He's landed lovely body shots, but certainly it's sapped a bit of strength. But his head shots have never really stopped him in his tracks. Swain, so tough and so brave, just keeps coming. But once again, Brody getting himself forward. It's always traded on durability, actually, uh, Swain. Remember that time when he stopped uh, Richie Wenton, who tired against him? Oh dear, oh, there he's going. Just as I said, oh, what a dramatic fall. Wonderful shot. You could have shouted out Timber there, and they the dived in the ring right the away. Time. The referee stopped it, and the doctor is the first man in the ring there. And Jim, what a dramatic as, finish this is. Just as I'm saying, he hadn't problem with a head shot. He Bingo. caught Swain coming bang on with a perfect shot right on the button. And you can see the way his legs are here. Referee Francis knew there was no point counting there. Just hopefully they still have Swain on the floor at the moment, but I think that's just a precautionary measure. I don't think there's any great problem. They see Cotton coming forward. The best right hand punch of the shot uh, of the fight. Bang on and look at the way it finished the job.
Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 15 seconds of round 10, the referee stops the contest. The winner by technical knockout and new super bantamweight champion of Great Britain, Michael Crow.